Hi there, and welcome to this video review of the Aperture M9 small LED video light. Now, for those of you who don't know, the M9 is a tiny, lightweight video light made by Aperture. It's about the size of a credit card and about one centimeter thick. It's extremely lightweight, and I've been a long-standing user of these lights. I have upwards of 10 or 15 of them. I take them pretty much on every shoot. They're always in my bag. And I just thought it'd be useful in this video to talk about some of the features and why I like this light so much. So the M9, as the name suggests, has nine LEDs and these produce a large amount of light. I believe it's about 900 lux is the maximum brightness that you'll get from this, which is a huge amount for a light of this size. Now, actually for this piece to camera, I'm shooting in a very confined space and I have an Aperture 672 panel as my main key light. But then as a fill on this side, I actually have an M9 taped to the wall and that's how flexible this light is. It's so lightweight that a bit of gaffer tape will pretty much affix it to any surface. I also have a couple in the background of this scene here. So I have some behind the computer and some on the desk here. And that's just adding a little bit of spill light, a little bit of texture to the background of my scene, a little bit of interest. And that's why I have so many of these small little lights is that when I'm on set or I'm shooting, say for example, a corporate video and I turn up at an office, which has sort of bland and dull lighting, I know that I can add these in in pretty much any sort of place, whether that's on a bookcase, in an existing light, any nook and cranny really, and just add texture and interest to my lighting setups. So one of the great things about the light is that they come with these little flexible and magnetic diffusion panels. And because they're so small, you can add in gels underneath that, clip that on the front, and that is your gel holder for the light and there's no need for particularly complex add-ons or clips or anything like that. The light does come with a CTO and a CTB gel so that's really handy for doing different color temperatures. The M9 also has brightness controls and this has nine individual steps so you can control the intensity and the amount of light on your scene or in the background for example and in this particular scenario I have the M9 here as a film light and I was able just to dial that in to match my key and give me a fairly even lighting setup for this particular piece of camera but if I wanted to go for something more moody I could really dial that all the way down and have a higher contrast uh, with the, the key and the fill light and so the ability to control the brightness on a, a unit this small is also really handy. So the battery life is pretty good from the unit I found on maximum brightness somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour is possible. The unit's charged via USB and the battery is internal. For some this might be a disadvantage but for me actually I prefer it this way because it means I'm not having to bring extra batteries as long as I'm disciplined and make sure the unit is charged. I can also run the unit from a external battery pack so if I know I'm doing a long all day shoot where I need to make sure the batteries aren't going to run out I can plug them in to external batteries still have the flexibility to move them around and get that extended use out of them. So overall the M9 is a fantastic little light. The flexibility that it gives you is really amazing. It's obviously not going to replace bigger lights and you couldn't light an entire scene with them but as an option to have in your bag to add flexibility, to add interest and texture and make your lighting setups a little bit more dynamic and interesting is a fantastic option. Hopefully this video has been useful and explain why I'm such a big fan of the M9. If you've got any questions, please drop them below and I will get back to you. Hit the subscribe and like button and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.